Welcome back to the Kilowatts. Today, while we wait for our Model S, our Rivian R1S, and our Lucid Air, today we're talking about something a little bit different. We're gonna be talking about the EV for your EV. Today, we're talking about one wheel. If you own an electric vehicle, the one wheel pint is the best last mile transportation solution money can buy. All right, that's a bit of a bold claim, but let's see if I can support it. First of all, what is it? The one wheel is a bunch of batteries, two metal rails, some foot pads with some sensors, and you can customize the fenders and the bumpers to make it any color you want. It's pretty easy to ride too. The foot pad sensors detect your feet and activate the motors as you step on. There's absolutely no remote. You just lean forward to accelerate, lean backwards to decelerate, lean to the right to go to the right, and lean to the left to go to the left. And they're made right here in Santa Cruz, California. The one wheel pint has a top speed of 16 miles per hour, a range of about seven miles. It costs just under a thousand bucks and weighs about 23 pounds. In our opinion, it's the most fun, practical form of transportation. One of the things I love most about the one wheel pint is just that it's so compact meaning I can fit one in my front trunk here. And one in my rear sub trunk. Another benefit of its small size is that you can bring it inside with you to coffee shops like this. And if you own any other EV with a front trunk, It'll probably fit in there too. Before getting our one wheels, we looked into a bunch of different last mile micro mobility solutions, starting with something like an electric bike, which is a great option for a lot of people. But for us, it's just, it's way too big. You've got to get a massive roof rack and it takes a lot of energy to put it up there. And unlike electric scooters, one wheel is hands-free so I can carry around things like these smoothies. Here you go. And unlike an electric skateboard, which you can only really ride on pavement, you can ride a one wheel anywhere you want, on the road, off the road, and on the trails. And my buddy who got me into one wheeling uses his every day to grab groceries, walk his dog, and drop off the mail. To show you how useful the one wheel pint is for our day-to-day -day activities, we've set up a test. So now we're in the Mustang Mach-E on our way to do something that I do somewhat often actually, which is dropping this car off for a tour rental. If you've been following the channel for a while, you know that we rent out all of our cars on Turo and occasionally we've got to do deliveries. Our renters pay for that delivery, but we then have the choice of either Ubering back to the studio or doing kind of something I love to do, which is one wheeling. And today we're gonna see which one's faster. So I've got Ben here with me. He's the one holding the camera and we're gonna race from this drop off all the way back to the studio, about 2.5 miles away. All right, so this is usually the point where after taking the photos of the car for Turo, I will either hop on my one wheel or I'd call an Uber. So I'm gonna have you call the Uber. All right. I'm gonna put on my helmet for safety. Safety first. And then uh, when you're ready, I'm gonna get ready to go. Ready? All right, I'm gonna unlock the phone. Set and go. All right. Call the Uber. See you there. Good luck. All right, I'll beat ya. Cool. All right, so getting directions to the studio. All right, got our Uber confirmed four minutes away. So I'm gonna be waiting here for four minutes. Go, go, go. All right. There they are. I'm about to get in the car and beat Ryan. Here we go. Just or it does it. I think we got him. 
and I made it back to the studio. Yeah, Thank you so very much. Nice yeah. to you. I appreciate it. You oh, as well. Take care. Appreciate it. All right. I we may, no, no, <laughs> no. I will beat you in minutes. Been here for five or six minutes. No, you have not. Yes, I have. Really? Review the camera. What? Yes. And it was easy. 427. We were supposed to, we were both expected once I, because I, I saw your Uber, we were both expected to get you here at 424. Good race. Good race. <laughs> Not only is one wheel cheaper, but it also is also faster. All right, so let's talk about what happened there. Well, effectively, I beat Ben by three minutes and 30 seconds. And I count that mostly to the fact that he had to wait for his Uber. Overall, our transit time was almost identical. You know, this was about $20 cheaper though than his Uber ride. So I'm a big fan of the one wheel. It was way more fun to ride. At the end of the day, I really do believe that this could be the best last mile solution for existing EV owners. I highly recommend it. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.